Hello and welcome, how's everyone doing? Today I decided to try Lumina AI, it's a picture editing software assisted by AI and it has some really cool features to its leave. It's like Lightroom but it's cheaper because you can buy it uh, and then just own it because on an Adobe software you have to rent it like I do but I have the student discount. But this one is not sponsored by Luminar. So, you can see that the software detected that there is a sunset in the shot so it suggests to me the template sunset so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna pick Toscana for example like the impact or hyperdrive hmm, and here you can see that it's loading I'm gonna go with Toscana because it's the one I like the most so now it should apply the sunset preset Toscana and now I just have to wait and there you go it has been applied I really like colorful pictures so I'm gonna wait until it rendered the colors in and uh, then I will be able to go over to edit now I'm gonna go to edit and here you can see I already played a bit around and here you have all the basic functions you would also find in uh, Lightroom like for example, all the sliders, tint, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, and black and white, and the curves. But the cool features are over in creative. For example, you can change the sky, or for example, here, you can add a moon, a giraffe, for example, or some uh, other planets, and you can even buy some more objects or some fireworks. That's some really cool stuff to do. Uh, it takes pretty long to do that in Photoshop because you have to uh, mask it and then you have to put it behind the cloud. And that takes a lot of time because here it just works. You click on it and then you have the moon. For example, you can add some sun rays and you can add some really cool stuff. And let's try to add a moon for example here we have a moon close that it's maybe going to uh, kill my computer we'll see if it's working there we go I've got a, a, a moon inside stop here you can see that it perfectly inserted the moon I'm gonna put it over here the moon, and see what happens I'm gonna wait it takes a bit of time because I don't think my computer likes that too much. Here you can see it's behind the clouds and everything. And here you can even increase the size of the moon. Try to do that in Photoshop. Once you mask it out and everything, you're not going to be able to change it without having to begin from the beginning. So here, that's some really cool stuff if you're into uh, photo compositions. You're surely already seen those pictures where you see a big moon in the background that's a composition it's not actually a picture that was shot and here you can see it perfectly masked out and here it did a really nice job so I have to give that one to uh, Luminar and here you can add for example some fog Wait, where did it go? Wait. Some fog or some other stuff like if you want on some amount of fog for example I want fog and then maybe add some depth to it and then here you can even add a mask and here you can see that there is some fog that was added uh, in my opinion uh, Luminar is easier to use for beginners then Lightroom. Lightroom has more options for professional photographers but if you're a photographer that just started it's your hobby I would take a look at Luminar because it has some really cool features and it's cheaper because you don't have to pay the subscription that includes Photoshop for example and uh, in Lightroom that's around 10 to 12 bucks a month and if you just want to rent Lightroom for example you have to pay 20 or 25 bucks which is pretty expensive this one you can buy it around for 80 bucks and then you own it and here you can do some other stuff everywhere where I have the dot that's where the software has added something and everywhere where you can see AI 
it's uh, it's assisted by the AI in here. Let me try what this one does. The composition, um, we'll see what the software is coming up with. Maybe it's going to change the crop. And yeah, that's what it does. So the software decided that this one would be a nice composition. I'm gonna go, gonna close that. Okay, close it. You can see that the software is helping you maybe compose your picture but if you are more uh, of someone that's hands on you want to do it yourself you can do it too this one just uh, also includes some AI so it helps you to make the composition or the editing you always wanted or something like that and here you can also modify the colors, details, denoise and add some other stuff so I hope you like this little video and the presentation of Lumina AI and see you in the next one